But you can't do this to me. <laughs> oh, no, no. <laughs> no. <sighs> Okay, Mundies. You've been bugging me for 10 years. Where's season two? Where's more Wolf Among Us? Actually, it's insane how many times I've had to make that clip of my good friend Adam Harrington and just say, seven years, eight years, nine years, 10 years, and we still haven't gotten the Wolf Among Us 2. So, how y'all doing, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back. It's been a little while since I did an update video. I was actually planning to do one pretty soon. Actually, it was probably going to be out in like a day or two. And then we got some breaking news out of absolutely nowhere. I hate to say this, but I'm not surprised. I really just deep down had a feeling something like this was going to happen. So let's just say it flat out. The Wolf Among Us 2 has been delayed again. Remember, originally the release date was supposed to be 2023, but now we'll talk about why it has been pushed now to 2024. And it just pains me so much that this continues to happen. And man, I've really wanted this game for such a long time. This is really Telltale's first big game. We all know The Expanse is coming this summer, but this was going to be their first prime title, the one they actually shown first. And yes, I'm very disappointed, I'm very angry, I'm very sad, but I'm very understanding after reading. There's a lot of emotions I'm feeling right now, but man, I can't really be happy after this. If you enjoy this video, please be sure to drop a like, subscribe, join with your 50% of the people that are subscribed by hitting the red subscribe button, hit the notification bell, have it set to all so you don't miss any of my videos it's covering Telltale Games, The Wolf Among Us, and any other titles in regards to theirs. So we're gonna discuss why it's delayed, how long this delay could be, Where's the timetable of potential release and more? Let's get straight into it. Follow me on social media down below to stay connected as well if you haven't already. Where do I start? Well, this tweet that came out of nowhere was right around one. We have made the difficult decision to delay The Wolf Among Us 2. To give more context, we spoke with IGN. Now, let's pull up the text blurb. An important update for The Wolf Among Us 2. We've made the difficult decision to delay The Wolf Among Us 2 out of 2023. And, you know, another sad thing about this is they didn't even confirm it's coming out in 2024. That's the very nerve-wracking thing about this. And again, until I get a concrete release date, I'm not even gonna say that it's out of the question that this could even be pushed back to 2025. We know it's frustrating to hear. We start work on this in 2020, and we're still determined to tell the ongoing story of Bigby and the rest of Fable Town gang. However, it is going to require more time. As disappointed as you are hearing this, because trust me, I am very, very disappointed. We feel worse having to say it, but the work continues. We're committed to delivering the sequel fans deserve and doing what's right for the game while protecting the health of our team. We appreciate your patience and understanding the Telltale team. And again, we'll go into why this happened again. There's, again, I was very disappointed hearing this first, but again, there's some deeper meaning behind this for sure. They said, we knew that we needed to give you more than just a single post for this news. That's why we spoke at length with IGN about what's going on over here to be as transparent as possible as we rebuild and make new games. We do truly thank you for your understanding. And we're going to go through the IGN article here in a minute, but there's some other tweets I want to discuss before we get into that. So from my good friend, Smack and Pie, another fellow YouTuber that covers Telltale, at least we'll get the expanse this year, right? Telltale? And they said, yeah, we know, and correct. The decision, as much as it sucks, doesn't impact the release of The Expanse. So The Expanse is still scheduled to be releasing this summer. And I'm going to make a video on it pretty soon, actually. Never really got time to do that because I was on vacation while that stuff was dropping. But um, there will be a Telltale Games video pretty soon, actually. The Expanse is still on track to release this summer. Tightly episodic with a couple weeks between episodes. So that is the plan for The Expanse. So we will at least be getting The Expanse this year, but I know a lot of you guys, based on the comments, I'm telling you all, please give The Expanse a chance. It's better than nothing. At least we're getting something from them this year. 
All right, so I pretty much went through all the tweets that we needed to discuss. Now the article, which goes into the nitty gritty, what you need to know, why the game was delayed, when it could potentially still come out. So, The Wolf Among Us 2 pushed the next year in effort to avoid crunch. So, if you guys remember the story of the old Telltale games, I don't think I really need to go that much into it, but pretty much Kevin Bruner and the old staff at Telltale, pretty much, at least the heads, crunched their employees it was overworking it was toxic it was awful like and that is a big reason why the company went bankrupt and the money got pulled out employees complained about being overworked terrible hours you could tell the games were still buggy and broken at release even with all that crunch culture if we put this game out and it's not ready we're going to get torn to shreds and trust me I think that's a very accurate assessment with the Telltale community. Um, if we are, you know, we, we have high expectations for this game. And if it doesn't meet the bar that has been set by its predecessor and all the Walking Dead games, then yes, we will be pretty angry, to say the least. So, yes, you could probably understand why he would, you know, the CEO, Jamie Otley, would say something like that. Today, Telltale Games has announced that its long-awaited sequel to The Wolf Among Us is being pushed out of 2023 in an effort to avoid crunch and team burnout. Which, again, we know this new Telltale is not trying to repeat the mistakes of its predecessor. As well as accommodate a move from Unreal Engine 4 to 5, so they are changing engines. We originally knew that The Wolf Among Us 2 was likely going to be on an Unreal Engine 4, but it seems like they want to go up a step on top of it. Speaking to IGN, Telltale Games CEO Jamie Otley explained the team made the choice for a number of reasons, but primarily to avoid burnout or shipping an unfinished game. Making games is difficult, and they need to be right, he said, and it doesn't do any of us any good to ship something that's not ready. Otley explains that, like many other studios that reestablished Telltale, uh, the reestablished Telltale Games had struggled with the challenges inherent to building a studio during the COVID-19 pandemic. And here, this is something I always have mentioned with Wolf Among Us 2. Remember, it was announced before the pandemic, December. Remember, the pandemic started in March of 2020. So, looking back on it, would Telltale have announced the game had they known a pandemic was coming? Probably not, because COVID really messed up a lot of stuff. Especially, again, this was a company that was built from the ground up. And COVID happened literally a couple months after they started pre-production and all of that. So you could tell this was a difficult, difficult position. After being resurrected by LCG Entertainment in 2019 following the shutdown of the original Telltale, Telltale unveiled The Wolf Among Us 2 at the Game Awards the following November, December. But the studio was still in very early stages with the game in pre-production and explicitly not using any previously developed material. And the new studio, roughly two years away from being fully staffed, well, at the time, it made sense to announce early to help secure funding and support for the new initiative. Ali admits that had he known then about other coming factors, like the pandemic, which we just talked about, he may not have made the same decision. Main games is difficult, and they need to be the right, and it doesn't do us any good to ship something that's not ready. The best game we could have made. Since then, he continues The Wolf Among Us 2 had been proceeding well, but recently Telltale made the decision to switch from Unreal Engine 4 to Unreal 5. It's a move that Otley says happened because Unreal 5 has a number of interesting features that many on his team, specifically engineers and artists, feel are worth the effort, but he admits that means redoing quite a bit of work that was already done in Unreal 4. So this is a big part of the delay, is that they've switched engines mid-development, and there's stuff they have to redo now. With that in mind, Otley says there would have been only two ways to meet the 2020, 2023 release window. Option A is that they would have to ship something unfinished, which is off the table, in which I don't think a lot of us fans would want, because releasing an unfinished game, we've seen in past Telltale games why that would not be a good idea, especially considering this is different. They're going to have the full game out before release. Then there's option B, which we'll talk about in a minute. But if we put this game out and it's not ready, we're going to get torn to shreds. And as I said at the beginning of this, discussing the article, that is very much true. The expectations are pretty high. And I would agree with that. And we want to meet those and we want to be proud of it and know that, hey, this is the best game we could have made. Let the world say what they will once it's done. But at least we know that in these times and in these conditions, this is the best game that we could make. The other option 
would be the dreaded C word, crunch. A problem that repeatedly, reportedly plagued the original Telltale games before its shuttering. Otley is adamant that their version of Telltale simply won't do it. I've done crunch and I don't want to do it again and it's not fair to ask it, he says. You can't plan a business around it. So yeah, part of it is about maintaining a healthy work culture. We don't want to burn out our good people. It has been incredibly difficult to recruit the last years between COVID and the labor markets and the growth in the games industry. So certainly burning people out or grinding them down is the wrong thing to do long term. It's not how you build a business and as an industry, we're terrible about it. We burn our people out. We burn our best people out faster. And as an industry, if we're going to continue to grow, we have to stop it. We just have to stop doing it and make better choices. And this 100%, you know, after, you know, seeing the tweet, I was angry and disappointed. And stuff, but hearing this, yes, you have to understand that all this with the old telltale, this crunch culture, the burnout was what led to their inevitable demise. And the new CEO, based on what I've read the last couple of years and followed, is very much dead set on righting the wrongs of the old Telltale, or at least making sure that this Telltale does not repeat those mistakes. And reading this makes me very happy that, yes, we have to remember, guys, as much as we want these games, there are people that make these games that spend hours, days, months, years. They spend their entire livelihood, sometimes just spending all this time away from their families to make these games for us. And you have to understand that this is a long process. Games are people think it's so easy to make a video game it is not that easy and again i'm not in game development but i'm pretty sure that it is you know i think it's hard but it's probably 10 times harder than even i can imagine the wolf among us 2 will be episodic an episodic release as its predecessor was but unlike many former telltale titles it's being developed at once so again all five episodes will be done, but the first episode will release, and then they'll do bi-weekly, as we talked about with the Expanse suite earlier. It'll be every couple weeks, so two to four weeks is my guess. So when one episode hits, all their episodes will be completed. It's now on docket for 2024, but Telltale does have one major release this year, The Expanse, a Telltale series, which I've made a couple of videos about, and we'll make a video about pretty soon again. Uh which is making its partnership with Deck Nine Games. Telltale also has a third unknown title in early development, which we are going to discuss in another video as well. That, yes, there is a secret game, which could be The Walking Dead Season 5. It could be Batman Season 3. It could be a new IP. We don't know yet, and that's what I'm going to discuss. But again, if you missed my video talking about a potential Season 5, I recommend you go check it out. In the meantime, it's certainly worth going back and checking out the original Wolf Among Us, especially as its sequel will pick up Bigby Wolf and North Snow Left Off. We praised the first episode while written, and so that's pretty much it. So, the game released originally in October 11th, 2013, so this will be over 10 years now. Wow, 10 years, guys. And I, you know, I, I have to be hoping now that this game's releasing early 2024. I can't see how the game gets pushed back any further than that. But again, we shall see. I really hope Telltale doesn't keep us in the dark for a while, but I, I don't expect any news now until at the earliest, maybe the fall. I, I just hate to say it, but you know, considering that there's still probably a ways to go, considering that, that we're only in March, March 1st. Today is March 1st, and they have literally push this back to 2024 already that that t tells you how much work is still to be done so i will make a release date prediction i was supposed to be making one pretty soon but this kind of changed plans we'll be making one probably sometime in the summer or fall that is what you probably can expect i have no plans to make one anytime soon because again how am i supposed to know that the game's even going to come out in 2024 until we start getting gameplay and more specific stuff i can't really until I even get a specific release date, I can't really say, you know, you're going to get a lot of content from me. Because, again, had I been making videos these past couple months on theories and stuff, we would have had to wait another year. And I don't want to burn myself out and do all my ideas and theories out. Because I've done so many already. And it's just, damn. 2024, it stinks. But, hey, at least we're getting something from Telltale. So I can be happy about that. All right, my friends, that is going to do it for the video. If you guys did enjoy this, please be sure to drop a like and subscribe. Let me know down below in the comments what do you think of this delay. Are you happy 
about it, understanding that yes, there is more to it than meets the eye, and that these employees and stuff need to be treated with care, and the crunch culture needs to stop. Or are you disappointed? Did you, regardless, want it and expect it to happen? Personally, I'm disappointed, but I understand that we want the best game possible and that these people need to be treated with respect and not overworked and crunched. So, I wish you the notification bell to stay updated with the longest two content. Join my Discord, stay connected with us, Twitter, Instagram, and I want to thank you all so much for watching, and I'll catch you all later. Peace and love, and have a great day. I'll be seeing you around, Wolf, in 2024. Bye-bye.